As you might be aware of, you can extend the functionality of OBS by a lot using plugins and scripts. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Gander Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can put date and time on your OBS screen recordings or streams using a Lua script. As you know, OBS has plugins and scripts that you can use to extend its functionality and we are going to use a Lua script in this case to add uh, sort of a date and time to OBS. So if you open your browser and head over to the link in the description, you will land at this page, which has this Lua script. So if I click on uh, date time right here, this will bring me to the full Lua script, which I can't seem to find. Oh yeah, go to download button right here. So you click that, you reach the GitLab page where you can see the whole script. What you're going to do is just control A and then copy. And now I am going to open a new notepad window. So let me just go ahead and open up the notepad for you guys. Bring this in and copy paste this inside of the notepad file. Now let's go ahead and save it. So click on save as in file and then you can put this anywhere you want on your system i'm just going to go ahead go to my library my presets folder and i have uh, presets for obs right here i'm going to call this uh, datetime dot lua and then i'm going to change the save as type to all files as you can see i already have my mouse zooming script here so i'm going to click save here and uh, this is all you need to do on the script front you can close this now and now it's time to open obs so let's go ahead and do that yes i want to launch obs anyways so now once you're inside of obs the first thing that you have to do is add a text source to do that click on the plus icon right here and then click on text create new you can name this anything you want i'm just going to call it date slash time uh, obviously select any font that you want uh, we use railway over here at candid select any font size it's going to be 72 whatever effects you want and then you don't really need to add any text but just for the just for reference i'm just going to type in date slash time there click ok and now we have our text placed right here the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to go to tools and then click on scripts uh, now in here we are going to load a certain script so I'm going to click this plus icon right here to start loading scripts and then go to the folder where I just saved my date time script which is going to be presets and then datetime.lua click open and then as you can see uh, this gives you a description that you can use as a date time format and a text source that you're going to use. Just keep in mind that this text source needs to be exactly the name that is here. So I'm just going to type date slash time. And uh, as you can see, this has already taken effect. I can now see my time. I can um, increase or decrease it in size. And now if you want to change uh, the format for this time that you're getting, let me just zoom out so that you can see the time better. Let me make it smaller. Okay. So now if you want to change the format for this time, you can use uh, this legend to create whatever format you want. I like using this format and you can find it in the description below. So as soon as I press this, and uh, click close this should update but it didn't so let's go ahead and try our script again to see what went wrong oh yeah i accidentally added a bunch of ones there but yeah as you can see now uh, this shows everything uh, you can combine this with our uh, scrolling text tutorial to have it on a background and have it set up anywhere but essentially this is how easily you can have a functioning date and time in obs if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what do you think about this stuff 
If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.